Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I'm doing your weekly reading for January 10th through the 16th, 2021. I hope everyone's doing well. I do want to take a second here just to remind everyone that this is a general reading and therefore is not going to resonate with everyone. If you would like a personal private reading, just simply email me. The directions are in the box beneath this video and I will be happy to help you with that. Um, hopefully you've subscribed to the channel. When you subscribe, it throws your energy in with the rest of us and it'll make it a little easier for me to pick up on your story. Now, speaking of stories, please don't try to fit yourself into a story that does not um, apply to you. That's not gonna be good for anyone involved. Um, if it is your story, um, remember that the roles can reverse and energy is fluid. So take what works for you and leave the rest for someone else. So Virgo, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull your energy. We'll pull the energy of the person you're connecting with. Then we'll pull the energy of the connection itself, even if you're not in communication with this person. Um, we'll then pull a outcome for the end of the week. And to kind of sum it up, we will go ahead and pull some of the lover's oracles um, to see if there's any further messages or guidance that we can get. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Virgo, please? Energy of Virgo. Okay. All right, Virgo, so you have the Four of Cups in the reverse. You have Judgment in the reverse. You have the King of Swords. And the lovers. Now, you may be dealing with an air sign here, specifically a Gemini, but um, it could also be a Libra or an Aquarius, but you don't have to be. Um, it may just be that either you or the other party is kind of encompassing those air sign qualities. So what I'm looking at, Virgo, is I feel as if you've been a little bit dissatisfied with a connection um, or possibly the ending of a connection, but I don't see that you are looking at bringing this connection back into um, fruition because I don't feel like you want to give it a second chance. Um, and in fact, what I'm looking at is the energy of someone who is kind of very strategic. And Virgo, you can be very strategic in a lot of your um, decision making, which I think is a good thing. Um, but I think that you are kind of putting your, your heart aside for a second here and you're trying to make decisions and it's an important decision for some of you it may be a decision between two people um, but not for everybody but it is a very important decision and it looks to me like you're trying to put your heart aside and you're trying to make this decision more with logic and with your head um, being very strategic about it cutting out things that do not serve you things that are not making you very happy um, looking at it from a more balanced perspective. So I, I think that that's probably a very positive thing. Um, I do feel like you are not willing to give something here a second chance because you've analyzed it and you don't feel like it's serving your purposes. So now let's look at the energy of the person you're connecting with, Virgo. All right, so they have the Six of Cups in the reverse. The Page of Swords in the reverse. And the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is somebody here that is kind of giving up on a connection, it looks like. I do see that there is a lack of communication. Um, this is somebody from your past, Virgo, who um, maybe wasn't very good with communication. They may have been a bit immature about it. Again, we see the air sign energy, so you may very well be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you don't have to be. Um, but this looks like somebody who maybe is not in communication with you right now. Um, and it also looks as if this person wasn't very good with their communication, period. We also see with the seven of wands in reverse, this person did not fight for this connection. Um, they did release this connection. And so we see that also with the Six of Cups in the reverse. They, they've tried to release this. So let's look at the energy of the connection itself. Okay, so yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So this was a long-standing connection. This is not something that has is a new connection. So 
for those of you that are in newer connection, this is not for you. Um, this would be a long-standing connection. Um, Ten of Pentacles speaks to stability, and it looks as if this connection, I feel as if there are there's an influence of others. There, it seems like there's, you may even feel, you or the other person may even feel as if the, you're kind of stuck in the middle of something here. Now, the Six of Wands is generally a card of victory, but it almost feels to me here with this particular deck, Virgo, that you have people who are looking on, and it's almost like you're stuck in the middle. Some people are cheering you on and saying, yeah, stick in this relationship, stay with it, and you have another group that um, seem to have some kind of power or control or influence on you that are telling you that this is not a good connection, and you're kind of maybe in the middle of that, and it almost appears to me, Virgo, that you may be pulling pulling some kind of a major victory out in this connection, you know, out of nowhere. Um, but it looks almost transformative. So I, I don't know. This is a very, very different energy. So um, it does feel to me as if you're kind of stuck between two worlds here, though. And it has to do with... Um, it almost has to do with the way people are viewing this. It seems, it, it almost feels to me of the way a celebrity would be viewed with the public looking on and saying, oh no, we want this to continue. We want this to go on. But people within your private circle looking at this and saying, you know, I'm not sure this is really what's good for you having more knowledge. So yeah, there's a, it's a, it's a different energy. I've not seen this energy um, before. So, all right. So, let me see um, what is affecting this connection. Okay. Well, there you have it. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, that would make a lot of sense. So, something here was done deceptively in this connection. And the truth has come out. There's clarity here. And so, that would make a lot of sense as to why this is being perceived in such a way. I feel like a certain group of people that is around you, Virgo, doesn't understand the deception or, or whatever this deception is. They don't see it. They don't know. But there's an inner circle that understands that something here was not done properly. Either, you know, now this could be for the cross watcher as well. So I, I don't know. Um, there's definitely something here that was deceptive that has come out, though. All right, so... Let's see, what is the energy of the, um, the outcome at the end of the week? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be heavy. Um, that's heavy energy. So I feel like you're going to feel as if you have a, a lot going on by the end of the week. I think you're going to be weighing up your options. You're going to be trying to figure it out, um, you know, trying to gain clarity on everything that is going on. I just think it's going to be a heavy weight for you to bear by the end of the week. Um, you and the other person that you're dealing with. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, which indicates to me that there is a lack of stability that is taking place in this connection. Um, yeah, and that's the underlying energy. So this is something longstanding as well, something within the home. Let's start clarifying, Virgo. Very interesting reading. Um, why do we have the Four of Cups in the reverse for Virgo? Yeah, you felt betrayed. That's why you're unhappy in the connection. There was um, some kind of stagnancy in this connection. You have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm sorry, Ten of uh, Swords so there was some kind of stagnancy in this um, in this connection, and there was also betrayal. There was a feeling of you being stuck, stuck in betrayal, stuck in something that was um, deceptive, something that you know was not on the up and up, and you felt stuck in it, and you were you were becoming more and more unhappy. And I feel as if you're starting to take yourself out of that. Um, why is judgment in reverse? So we have the two of coins in the reverse and the five of cups. So possibly someone was juggling, doesn't have to be, but it could be. 
um, but there is a lack of balance here in this connection, so you're not really willing to give it a second chance. It didn't make you happy, the Five of, of Cups. So I think that when you look at this connection, Virgo, you're really looking at all the chances, all the love that was drained out of it. Um, I don't feel like you're looking back at this connection with happy memories, and I feel like you have some regrets um, as well. Um, it's possible that somebody was juggling here, and, you know, you just want an end to that. So I don't feel like you're willing to give this connection an, a second chance. You felt betrayed. You were unhappy. You felt stuck in it. Can I have three cards for the final? One more, please. Okay. All right, we're clarified with the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. And the High Priestess in the reverse. Yeah, so a secret came out. Um, Ace of Wands in the reverse can be um, a lack of communication, lack of truth, basically. But the, whatever it was that was being kept um, here, there was uh, somebody had a choice between two um, for some of you. And for others, it was just a choice, um, a big choice as far as it could have been whether or not to stay in this connection. But I do feel like, um, it wasn't being talked about. There was a lack of communication. Um, if there was a juggling situation, um, and that could very well be because we have the queen of wands here. Um, queen of wands can sometimes be the other woman, other person in the connection. Um, so if that's the case, I do feel like, you know, it was probably not spoken of for quite some time. And then the truth came out, um, leaving someone with a choice between two people. Now, for those of you that there was no juggling, there was just a great imbalance within this connection. Um, you were feeling very stuck in the connection and, you know, decided to take action. And we see two, two um, cards of action here. And I feel like a lot still was unsaid, a lot still went unsaid, a lot was not communicated. There may have been a, a big untruth here, something that was a lie with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and then that truth did come out with the High Priestess in reverse. Whatever that, that lie was, whatever that was hidden came out, um, causing, causing you to take action towards a decision. So, yep. Yeah, so I see you, Virgo, as, as being pretty resolute in your decision-making here. <clears throat> it's obvious to me you feel betrayed, you felt stuck in this, and um, you feel as if there's been deceit. And so you're, regardless of the situation on how that is, you're making a decision. And I feel like you're very strategic in it. All right, so let's look at the person you're dealing with. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. This Page of Swords could also be uh, a lie as well. Um, a lot of times that's a lie uh, by omission. It's It may be a direct lie, but it can also be a lie of omission, especially coming out right next to the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so the Hanged Man and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so... With the Queen of Swords in the reverse, this is somebody who is angry. So they were waiting with the Hanged Man. This person was in a wait, waiting mode. So they were kind of letting go of the past, letting go of, of their past, but doing it very slowly. For some reason, they were waiting, but they were angry about having to wait. They didn't want to wait, and so it made them angry. And I do feel like... Um, I feel like I feel like they didn't they didn't want to wait, so that made them angry. So it's looking more and more like with this page of swords in the reverse, there was something they weren't telling you. There was something. So let's see what that is. Why is the page of swords in reverse? Okay, the magician, tricky. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles, um, Virgo, that's you. That's Earth energy. And in the reverse, 
this person was manifesting a, a split from this, this relationship. So this person, they're a trickster. With the, when you get the magician along with the page of swords in reverse, this person was manifesting a breakup, manifesting a split, but they were waiting. They weren't telling you about whatever was going on here. And meanwhile, they're seething. They're angry because they have to wait. Now, I'm not sure why they're waiting, but they were having to wait. But they were manifesting this breakup. And that's why you were feeling stuck and betrayed. They also were not standing up for this connection. Why is the Seven of Wands here in the reverse? Again, Six of Cups in the reverse. Strong energy. It's repeating. So they weren't standing up for the connection because there was something else that they were hoping for with the star. They had set their, their sights on something else. Um, so they weren't standing up for the connection because they were they were heading in a different direction. Yeah, this person was not honest with you about their intentions and they kept you stuck. So let's look at the, and I don't think everybody knew that. So it, this may have been a connection that on the outside, people looking in thought everything looked fine. Everything looked good. It was a happy family. May have even been children involved, but this person was very likely leaving, leading a, a double life. And then the truth came out. So let's look at that. Um, can I get three cards for the connection? Wow. Seven of Swords just popped out again. Virgo, I'm sorry. One more card, please. All right, so we have the Three of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse, and the Temperance card in the reverse. So yeah, there was deceit. This, this looked like a, a very stable, prosperous marriage, but it was deceitful. Um, someone was living a double life. This person was living a double life. Um, with the Three of Cups in the reverse, there may have been a, for some of you, not everybody, there was there was juggling, there was a third party, um, but I can also tell you that you do not want this person back, Virgo, you're done. You're, we have over here, um, Judgment in reverse, which tells me you don't want to give them a second chance, and then we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, in the upright, it would be a reunion. You don't want to get, you don't want a reunion because of the deceit. Um, seven of Swords twice. I mean, clarifying the relationship right smack in the middle. So yeah, you don't want a second chance. Um, I will tell you this, the person that you are dealing with, they have temperance um, in reverse. So this person is very unbalanced. Their emotions are not balanced at all. Um, they could be dealing with a Sagittarius, by the way. Um, but their their emotions are not balanced at all. They are um, definitely in need of healing here. And they they are living a double life. They are presenting one way to the world, but it's not that way. So why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, because the relationship, Four of Wands, became a burden, Ten of Wands. So your person thought that this connection, you thought it was stable. This person thought the connection was a burden. Um, and so they were living a double life. Um, can I get three cards for the outcome, please? So, clarifying the outcome, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, we have the Emperor in the reverse, and we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. So, yeah, it, it's this is going to be problematic by the end of the week. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be like fully resolved because I don't think that the connection is fully severed. Um, nobody's really taking action with the Emperor in the reverse. And also keep in mind, Virgo, when the emperor is in reverse, that means that um, somebody might be um, a little bit controlling here. So I don't know if that's you or the other person. It could actually be both because if this is a situation 
where there is a breakup or a divorce, um, sometimes that can bring out that controlling behavior in both parties. Um, but I see you with the Knight of Cups. You are definitely closed down emotionally towards this person. And they have the Page of Wands in the reverse, so they're not going to be talking to you. Um, some of them are not going to be communicating with you at all. Others are not going to be telling you what their plans are. Um, they're, they're really keeping things close to the chest if they are talking to you. There may be some controlling behavior, and it's going to leave um, both of you feeling pretty burdened by the end of the week. This is this has become a very heavy, um, you know, what's causing the burdens is the deceit, though. So we have Ten of Wands here. We have Ten of Wands in the outcome. We have Seven of, of um, Swords. We have Seven of Swords. So it's a lot of heavy energy here, a lot of heavy energy. So, you know, that's a little tough. We also have the world in reverse at the uh, bottom of the deck, which tells me that this is not over yet, but you are reaching a con conclusion of the, a con conclusion, I can't even get the words out. Um, you are reaching a conclusion of the, of this cycle. Um, we see that also with the tens, but it, it's going to be a little bit of a trial, I feel like, for you um, throughout this week. So I would really just focus on you know, taking care of yourself. If there are legal implications involved, I would make sure that you are legally taking care of yourself as well. But, you know, try not to get into the power struggles and, you know, just focus on, you know, what you're doing here, which is cutting out those things that do not make you happy, do not serve you, and focus on self-care. Don't, don't try to get into the control battles because it will not serve you. So let's go ahead and pull some uh, Lover's Oracles and see if there's any advice there. Okay. All right. So Virgo, this is what we have. Um, it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So yes, I agree with that and that is exactly what I'm telling you. Um, I know that you're going through a very difficult time right now for those of you that are resonating with this reading. So a lot of self-care, you know, um, go within and let yourself feel joy in other circumstances, okay? For the person that... Um, that you're dealing with, they have sacred union. So this person, um, I don't, if, if this is a sacred union that they are not honoring, um, I do feel like there will be karma for them in that respect because their card says sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So that may be a warning for this person or cross watcher. Um, and it could also be if this person is juggling that this person may be exiting this union in order to enter a sacred union. And I know that is not what you would want to hear. Um, but, uh, you know, spirit will put us where we need to be. And then for the relationship itself, it says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. And this would be for both parties. So this is you know, basically spirit is guiding you to look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel the way you do. So use this, um, use this experience to open yourself up to, to, to find out why you're feeling this way, because that's truly where you're going to find healing. So, all right, Virgo, I do hope that this reading, um, has pr brought you some clarity um, if you would like a personal reading, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you. Um, if you um, have not already subscribed, please do so. Like and share the video and drop me a comment. I do read all of your comments. So until I see you next time, namaste.